Hi third grade friends. I have a story to share with you today. Um, I just love the story. It is called After the Fall. It's about Humpty Dumpty. You know, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horsemen, all the king's men couldn't put him back together again. That story. Well, this is what happened after he fell off the wall. It's by Dan Santant. He's the author and the illustrator. And he has also won a Caldecott Award before for illustration. So he's an excellent illustrator. So let's see if I can show you the pictures and read the story at the same time here. After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. A story by Dan Santant. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot, high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. For folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together again. It says King's County Hospital. Well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. After that day, I became afraid of heights, of tall things. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. Notice the color in this illustration. These things down here are dark and gray and the bright colorful things are up on top. We've talked about how illustrators use color to show feelings. I walked past the wall every day and would think about climbing that ladder again. I really missed the birds and being high above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. Have you ever had something happen and then you were afraid to try it again? I eventually settle, settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, and an idea flew by. See the paper airplane? Making plans was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day I kept trying and trying. I wonder what he's trying to do. Until I got it just right. What do you make? Looks like a bird. My plan was perfect. My plane was perfect, and it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. Hmm, what do you think the accident was? They always do. This looks like the wall. Where did his bird land? 
I almost walked away again. But then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I'd missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. This bird is up there. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. I didn't look up. I didn't look down. I just kept climbing one step at a time. Sometimes things are hard for us and sometimes we just have to try a little bit at a time. That great big wall until I was no longer afraid. Can you see Humpty up here? He's got his arms up above his head. He's super happy. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. See all of his cracks from the first time he fell? Hopefully you'll remember me as the egg who got back in that picture. I see the cracked egg and I see bird's wings. What do you think happened to the egg? What was inside the egg? And learned how to fly. There's his pants and his shirt because what happened to him? All right, what a great story. What do you think happened to him? Do you think he turned into that bird? Sometimes things are hard, and you just have to keep trying and pushing forward. Um, have a great day, and I hope to see you soon. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye-bye.